So let's just talk about Zillow. Zillow. Oh, and Zestimates. Zestimates. And I say that, <laughs> not the <laughs> Zestimates, they, um, you know, they have clients thinking their home is worth two ninety five dollars when we put it on the market, it sells for four twenty five. dollars So let's talk about that a little bit because they got people, owners, thinking their home is not worth, you know, what it is. Um, the trouble with it is going maybe in another market, like some place where they have subdivisions they call them subdivisions I, I think they still do of maybe 200 homes and they're pretty cookie cutter you know maybe they have four different models this you know called Montgomery model or Stanley model and then they're all cookie cutter and the way Zillow works is they'll take something a radius from a subject's property and see what other homes like it sold for and that's very effective in other markets but in our market it's not you want to know why i do want to know why do you know some ideas possibly um i might have a general idea but i want to be for sure so i know what to say uh, to my clients okay that's good it's a learning experience exactly just like clients need to know all right in our market it's tougher because we have homes like that that you can see right next to each other um, this is a very dense market you got a mixed unit with maybe condos or apartments on top and a yoga shop on the bottom and then right next to it might be a doorman building what we call luxury building with amenities and and then across the street you got maybe a multi-unit family, you know, maybe a four family. This is the kind of stuff that happens in the city. Almost fell down the stairs of a cellar. But, um, so when Zillow does the same thing in taking a radius and you got these kinds of mixed homes, it doesn't have the intelligence to know one is a doorman build it, building with amenities and the other one across the street is maybe, it could be, we call bodega, little stores. Right. Um, so that's tough to do and when you're taking averages of general things and general like bedrooms and things like that it doesn't work um, similarly with other Zillow features you got maybe that can be another video actually you can talk about why a lot of times you're looking up information on Zillow and it's not even an accurate listing or it's sold, it's not on the market. That's a whole nother subject and another video we could talk about. Did you learn anything? I did learn something. And then obviously if you want the real value of your home, that Zillow, you're not sure if it's really accurate or not, you call a realtor, Team Carmi.